Hey YouTubers, Steven here. Okay, today, Project Green Marine, we're getting close to being finished. So what we, we're doing today is coving. I'm calling it coving because that's what they call it when you put together an above ground pool. That's, you know, where you make everything at a 45 degree angle. Uh, in the instructions, and I've read on the boat forums, you know, when you have sharp angles, fiberglass, doesn't like sharp angles. So we need to make a coving so that it's at about a 45 degree angle. Now some of the instructions uh, that I saw you could mix um, sawdust with glue um, which you need a ton of sawdust and a ton of glue. Uh, one of the boat forums and um, and in Uncle John's uh, country store where I got the, the boat plans, uh, someone submitted their pictures and how they did it. And this is exactly what they used. Uh, we'll call it a poor man's Play-Doh. There are lots of recipes online for Play-Doh. And I may do that somewhere down the road. Uh, but this isn't quite as nice to play with. Um, it's just basically flour, salt, a little bit of oil, and some water. So um, I'm going to get everything set up in my mixing bowl and uh, let's make a batch. So the recipe is really easy. Uh, it calls for three cups of flour, which I already have in here, one cup of salt, yes one cup of salt, uh, a tablespoon of oil, which I'm going to pour right now, and one cup of water. And basically, you just mix it up like a bread dough. And then once it's all mixed up, then you just roll it out into uh, long strings. So I'm just going to have a sip of coffee before my uh, hands get all dirty. And let's get mixing. All right, so this is this is starting to look pretty good. Now, I ended up adding just about another cup of water because it, it was just way too dry. Uh, so I know in the instructions it, it said, you know, one cup of water. It must have been mistaken. It must have been closer to two because it, you know, you couldn't do anything with just one cup. So, all right. So here's our play-doh. Well, looks good. All right, so what I got? A, I got a little tray here. I'm just going to break a piece off. Okay, and we're going to roll it out. And the idea, from what I read on the forums, is you basically roll this out to a, to about a half inch. That looks about a half inch, and I don't think my tray is going to be long enough. But you can always wrap it. And then you just fit that in the corner, and then you just take, have a little bucket of water, and you keep running your fingers over with wet fingers and smooth it in so you have a nice 45 degree angle. Um, now, the guy who, uh, who uh, I read this off the forum, he built a similar size boat as I do, and he said he used 20 batches. That seems like an awful lot, but. This is my first boat, so I really don't know. Um, but it's certainly a lot cheaper than using, uh, you know, like body fill or uh, having the um, uh, sawdust. I'm losing words here. All right, so uh, I'm going to finish rolling this all out, and then uh, I'll meet you out the boat. So I got some of this already started. Um, Basically, I just turned my boat on its side so that it makes it a lot easier to do. But uh, here's my dough strings. We're just going to place it down in here and basically just pat it in. Pat it into the corner all the way along and just kind of work it. Just like a caulking, like you do on your tub, you know, for you know, um, 45 degree angle. 
And the idea is that when this dries out, you'll be ready to put uh, fiberglass cloth over it. You know, a couple inches, you know, about an inch or so, two inches on either side, and then work it in with the uh, fiberglass cloth. And then this will make for a more solid joint. Okay, so that's it there nice and good. I'll get some water here. And uh, from a couple of the pieces, I learned don't go all the way to the end before you put your next piece on. And it just takes a little bit of water, not a whole lot, just to smooth it out. And I did brush the dust off of this, but being wood that it is, you can't help but still have a little bit. And that's basically it. I just continue on all the way down the boat. Anywhere where there's a sharp angle, um, there's a top piece up here. See if I can move the camera. This center beam through here, I'll have to do both sides. That's why I cut all these at a 45 so that I wouldn't have to worry about filling in all around here. And uh, so I'm going to continue on with this. I don't know how many batches I'm going to need, but uh, when I'm all done, I'll bring you back and I'll show you what I get done. See you in a bit. Let's have a look at this coving. All right, this, this side over here is basically what I did today. Let's see, all the coving or Play-Doh or putty. I have it pretty much on all the corners, all the seams. All nicely done through my um, chain guard. Uh, I almost made a boo-boo up here. I want this cover to be able to come off and I started to fill it in here and it's like, oh, oh no. <laughs> but uh, the engine compartment, it's all done. Oops, I didn't mean to zoom in there. Kind of hard to see with all the bright light, but uh, you get the idea. We'll look up the front of the boat. The seat's all nicely filled in. Okay, so turn my lens around. There we go. All right, so all the putty, coving, poor man's Play-Doh, whatever you want to call it, is done. Um, in the early part of the video, you saw me doing one side. That was actually last week um, or earlier this week. Uh, some of it is still a little soft, so it, it takes quite a while to dry it out. It, it doesn't help that, you know, here we are, middle of September. Um, it's quite dewy and damp at night, so that could probably attribute why it's taking so long to dry out. So, hopefully the next couple of days, it's supposed to be sunny, only high of 18, um, which isn't incredibly warm. But um, anyways, what I've learned from this, I know the recipe said uh, one cup of salt, three cups of flour, uh, one tablespoon of oil, and one cup of water. Uh, I know I said two cups of water, but like anything you bake, uh, sometimes two cups of water is a bit much. So if you make this, my recommendation, put a cup and a half of water in the flour. Um, and then as you mix it up, you'll find that uh, it's still semi-dry. You can add a little bit of water to it. Uh, and just keep adding a little bit until you get like a, a real Play-Doh consistency. And I found that worked best because my second batch, I put two cups of water in it. And let me tell you, it was so sticky. So um, learn from my mistakes. Uh, that way you're not making the same mistakes. And uh, one and a half cups of water and then add just little bits at a time as you mix it up to get it right because if not you're going to constantly be dumping more flour in it so uh all right are you excited i'm excited because you know what the next stage is i got a fiberglass all those joints put a little cloth or we'll probably use burlap and then fiberglass the inside of the boat put all the mechanical back in it after i paint it and then it's the outside and 
we're going to go in the water and play and hopefully mother nature will keep giving us some decent weather so i can finish this because uh, you can't do fiberglass re fiberglassing over or under 15 degrees celsius i think that's probably in around 60 fahrenheit maybe um, i'm not going to figure out the math today so hopefully we're getting close to running out of time and we're getting close to being finished so hopefully we'll get it done so thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video